So uh, now that you all have a sense of uh, what is in UWeb and in UWeb Camp, um, we're going to do a quick round of introductions. And the idea with introductions is to um, obviously introduce yourself uh, and uh, also your website and talk about um, just the last thing you did on your website, the last thing you got working, or the last change you made. Um, you don't have to, but sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, really quick. Just uh, uh, it's nice to sort of get a quick sense of who's here and what people are doing um, on their sites and what they use them for. And um, we're going to do one minute lightning site intros. So that's the goal. Stay under a minute and then pass it on. Um, if folks feel ready to talk about their site, uh, we can always have a couple of people up here waiting so we can just like keep on flowing through. Uh, we've got one computer running the latest Firefox nightly. It's quite snappy in uh, private browsing mode, so it's not going to remember anything. Um, so yeah, if, if you have your passwords in one password or whatever, don't worry about logging in. Just demo how your site works and show stuff to us that anybody could come to your site and, and find. Sound good? All right, should we go first to try and like demo how this works? All right, so one minute. I'm Tontek Chalik. My site is tontek.com. Uh, the most recent things I did for my site was I Im improved the RSVP support so that if I say I'm like co-hosting or sponsoring something, which I don't know, even know if I have a post. Oh, here we go. Uh, this is an RSVP post uh, that says I'm hosting Humber Website Club. Um, I write my posts in text and my site figures out that, oh, you really mean that's an RSVP. I'm going to send an RSVP for you and displays it as an RSVP on the permalink. Um, in addition to that, I have a composite feed on my home site, homepage, pictures, posts, uh, blog posts, uh, multi-pictures, et cetera, whatever I feel like posting. And at the bottom is a footer that I update manually. Um, and that's about it. There we go, 45 seconds. Who's next? Uh, I am Aaron Parecki, AaronPK.com. Um, this is this is my site. I have a, a little bio section at the top, and then some of my recent posts down below. The last thing that I got working, um, actually, at any web camp in Germany, was this little blue dot. So I got check-ins added to my site a while ago, um, which has been fun. So you can see uh, me checking checking in in at Mozilla this morning, and then I went to go to grab uh, half and half at Whole Foods, and I came back to Mozilla. But this little blue dot was uh, a change I added after that, which means that I'm still here. And uh, on my homepage, it shows a little thumbnail map. And if you hover in, it will zoom in closer and closer and give you different resolutions of the map. Uh, that is directly stolen from old Flickr, which is uh, not there anymore because they keep redesigning their website every <laughs> six months. But I like that, so I put that on my site. Uh, and that's the end of my minute. Uh, so my name is Josh Duran. I have uh, a number of websites. I use jduran.org for indie auth. Uh, this is a site that I, um, this is a site for my 68K emulator, and I recently added information about uh, my Mac emulation. And uh, so the most recent uh, change that I made is uh, this is a static uh, ping image from one of my emulations, and if you hover over it, then it replaces that with an animated GIF. So it's an, you can see the animation, but it doesn't. It's only there if you want to see it. And do I have an? Ooh, more time. Okay. Uh, this is my main page. There's uh, let's see. There's let's see on the uh, the resume. You can collapse sections. Um, and uh, there's a contact page where you can click a button to get the email address. And if you try that as a GET request, it doesn't work. Okay. Uh, okay. Am I allowed to? Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Hi, I'm Scott Jensen. Um, I'm a product designer, and my blog is just simply a slow publish of articles. I What's your domain name? Jensen.org. Um, I just basically am publishing a book slowly. I publish about four to six articles uh, a year. They tend to be between 1,500 and 2,000 words, and that's all I do. And so I actually 
represent maybe a, a, a far edge corner of the indie web. I'll I practically do shit with indie web on my website. It was really sad that when Snarf put up the thing, there was like no links coming out. I came to indie web three years ago and I did redo my website to do all of this stuff, and I turned it off. I turned it off because I couldn't keep up with it anymore. It was honestly just too hard, and I'm here to turn it back on again. And um, that's it. So speaking of too hard, um, I'm Johannes. Uh, I blog at upon2020.com. However, I want to show you a different site, which is uh, the uh, the site of the Linux distro that I that I'm building. That is a derivative of the indie box that we talked about some years ago. Um, it is simply too hard for a lot of people to set up these kinds of sites and keep them maintained. And one thing that I recently added here is just one of the uh, progresses uh, is. How would it be, for example, if you could set up a full indie website running known, for example, or a WordPress with the various uh, plugins in a single command? You also could provision in a single command a self-signed uh, TLS certificate uh, from if, uh, or a uh, Let's Encrypt certificate, or most recently, you can set it up as a Tor hidden services site in a single command. So you run your bus, which means you download an image for the Raspberry Pi, or you take an EC2 image, or there's various kinds of ways of running this. Execute a single command, and here you are, fully set up, provisioned. Um, updates, backups, all one command. Hi, I'm uh, Jonathan LaCour. I am cleverdevil.io. Uh, I got into the indie web about uh, two years ago as a result of my work at DreamHost. It's a web hosting company, so time to stay relevant. Um, get everyone off of Facebook and having their own sites again. So this is my site. Runs known. Um, uh, you can see I post my photos there and, and a bunch of other things. Uh, I'll do two things that I just added to my website. One is an on this day feature, which actually looks at um, this date in time over all of the years in the past. Uh, and you can see that uh, a year ago I was watching Raiders of the Lost Ark uh, with my son in our home theater on, on this day, um, which is kind of fun. And it actually is a little fuzzy, so it, it you know picked up tomorrow as well. But one of the other cool features that uh, I'll show you real quick is actually, I'm just going to go ahead and post all content. Um, I am going to watch a movie on my phone now, E.T. the Extraterrestrial. And this is a live demo, so God only knows if it's actually going to work. Also, I'm going over LTE, so who knows if it'll work. But uh, there you go. Showed us on my website that I was just watching E.T. Very clever. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm Ward Cunningham. I want to show you ward.fed.wiki.org. And this is a site that I made uh, as part of IndieWeb six years ago when I started this project. Uh, I spent about a year developing the technology, and then I've been writing in it for five years since. Uh, my most recent change was just this morning. I said that this is a site about IndieWeb camp. And when I click on something, you know, we, we dig a little deeper, and here's just some notes that I've taken this morning. If you really want to know who I am, uh, the tradition is to write a page about yourself, and this mentions a couple other places I write. This is where I write about the future of Federated Wiki, lots of ideas of what we're going to do next. But this is uh, uh, where I write about what I'm reading, which is a, a habit I've gotten into, which is a lot of fun. So you can, uh, you can go here. One other thing I'd like to mention is, I think I'll just skip that last mention. <laughs> All right. Hi, everybody. I'm Marty McGuire. I'm at uh, M-A-R-T-Y-M-C-G-U-I.R-E. It looks clever. It's very difficult to say out loud. Uh, one recent thing that I added to my site is uh, check-ins. I got jealous of everyone using their cool swarm apps to check in. Uh, so I got that working yesterday, thanks to Aaron Parecki's Own Your Swarm. Uh, pretty cool. One other thing that I like to do is uh, take the IndieWeb newsletter that goes out every week and transcribe it into something that can be read and make that into a little podcast, uh, which I post to my site. And um, it's, uh, it's kind of fun posting audio. I think there's a lot more that could be done with like audio on the web. Uh, ben was just talking about... Uh, annotating little bits of audio and sharing those around. Uh, so if anybody does podcasts and wants to do more with like audio and the indie web, I'm really excited to talk about it.
I yield my time. And we have a podcast <laughs> uh, studio tour tonight. Hello, I'm Gregor, gregorlove.com. And I'm going to show you uh, event posts. I've been posting uh, indie events for our homebrew website clubs in Bellingham. And recently I added uh, RSVP support. So this is actually coming back from Facebook, that first one. And the one below is an indie RSVP from my own site, but in theory can come from anybody else's site. And that's it. Hi, I'm Doug Beal. My site is dougbeal.com. And it is a month old. It's a WordPress installation. And it's ugly because I haven't changed that at all. Uh, let's see, I use Own Your Swarm, uh, Own Your Gram. This is actually a, I don't know, that's a normal one. Uh, here's last night. This is actually a Swarm check in, which I just signed up for. But I put a picture in so it showed up as a photo. So that's it. Under 30 seconds. Uh, I mostly came up because I wanted some gender diversity in the intros. So uh, you all saw my website plenty, but I thought it would be kind of fun to show how um, show what it looks like now. It's ridiculously on brand, as someone described for me. Uh, and uh, I have my check-ins that display here, as you can see. Um, one of them is broken. I would like some help. And I have an IndieWeb link there, and it shows where I was most recently sh in IRL in my footer. And what other IndieWeb stuff do I have on here? Yeah, I, you guys all just saw that. Okay. <laughs> all right, I'm ready to go. All right, howdy. I'm Ben Wordmuller. My website is word.io with an E. It's an anagram of weirdo. I'm just owning that now. <laughs> the... Um, so I was just reflecting that four years ago I came to this event, demoed something called Idno. Uh, Known is doing pretty well now in terms of an open source community. And so the latest thing that I did with my site, um, well, first of all, you can't really see it. I made it secure finally after four years. I'm lazy, but I finally did that. Uh, I can't actually log in, by the way, because I'm using a password manager, which you should all be doing, and I can't use that on this machine. Here are some chickens for no reason. And um, the reason why I'm excited about... Um, known being an, an excellent community, because the last thing I did was actually this morning, which is I put Jonathan's excellent watch plug-in onto my site, um, and now I can post what I, about what I'm uh, watching oh, on my wow. website, which is really cool. <laughs> Hi, so I'm Grant, um, so it's grant.code, um, and the most recent thing I think that I added was uh, like an overarching timeline of everything that I'm doing, so it's mainly full of locations because I track everywhere I go. Um, so it updates my location like I don't know, every five minutes or something ridiculous and this map can now follow me around on my tours. Um, yeah, so that was the most recent one. And then what else did I do? And I have a nice little feed of likes that pulls in all photos and things from Reddit and Facebook and Twitter. Uh, so it's mostly just dog gifs and cat pictures and stuff like that. So there you go, that's me. Okay. So my name's Jim Pick, and my domain name's jimpick.com. And uh, as you can see, my last blog post was from last year's <laughs> Indie Web Summit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, uh, the, but the, I have a subsite that I just put together yesterday. It was just a technical experiment uh, using Beaker Browser and publishing to DAT and distributed web, and it worked. And I can show people how to publish that stuff. Also under 30 seconds. Uh, G'day, you all. Uh, my name is John Alsop. Uh, I've been doing some of this stuff for quite a long time. I mean, I happen to be in the States. I'm just having to type and talk at the same time, which I'm literally incapable of doing. 
I'm going to get it all wrong because I'm doing a bitly thing. And so is that going to I mean, where's this? Oh, there it is. Look at that. Thank you. I can't even type URLs properly. Ah, oh, it's not even... Ah, oh, it's down... Ah, oh, for heaven's sake. Like I said, 2TGE. It's currently 6 o'clock in the morning for me, so... Um, please forgive me. Am I going to try one more time? So I've been thinking about the unwebbiness of um, video and audio, and I've been building a system to basically deep uh, link into video based on transcripts, and then to synchronise transcripts and uh, captioning as well. So that ties in a little bit around the podcast that people are talking about. I'm just trying to make that sort of binary blob of stuff uh, more accessible to the web as a whole. Cheers. Hi, everyone. I'm Victoria Wing. As mentioned before, I work on Firefox DevTools. But before I worked here at Mozilla, I uh, worked on NeoCities which is a friendly, uh, static web host. I highly recommend checking out like the websites page, which just kind of has like, uh, you can just browse everyone's websites that they've made here. We also have like a really basic HTML tutorial that mainly has like the addition of like a cartoon cat that explains HTML to you. So that's pretty much it. <laughs> Not that it's a competition. Right. <laughs> I guess it is. Um, hi, I'm Jean McDonald, and um, I've been designing websites since the 90s, but uh, sort of got off the blogging path and um, uh, recently got back on it because I joined together with Manton Reese to work on micro.blog. This is my micro.blog, Mac Genie, where I was, I've been posting stuff like, kind of using it like Twitter. And then I saw Manton give a talk a couple of weeks ago in um, WWDC, and I realized I don't want my micro.blog to just be a front end for Twitter, since I can make as many micro.blogs as I want. I made a second one that I just started working on, just gene.micro.blog, so my Twitter, dumb Twitter name isn't even part of it. And it's, I, I, I'm going to blog in 280 character bits, um, and we're go it's going to be an experiment because um, I've done WordPress, I've done other things, but this is, should be the least amount of friction. Thanks. I don't want to leave it on that picture. Mike Sugarbaker, misuba at gibberish.com. Select from and combine those tokens in various orders to find my internet things. Uh, the nice thing about learning in the middle of a job interview phone screen that your WordPress instance has been hacked to shit is that it will light a fire under your ass finally to do that weekend project of switching to a static site generator. Uh, and I believe the last thing I did with it is that there are, that this is an H feed now. So I haven't checked if it works, but you know, there's tags on it. All right. <laughs> Hi, I'm Amit Patel. I write long-form interactive content. These are all interactive guides that uh, you play with things to learn algorithms. So these are things that are not going to fit onto Twitter. They're not going to fit on a medium. Right? I have to control my own site. I have to be able to run my own things. So my latest project was to help other people make these kinds of sites by making a tutorial. No, that's not the right one. Uh, I made a tutorial about how to make these kinds of tutorials, interactive tutorials. So here's a 13-step, how do you start with your own website? Well, here's some HTML, here's some CSS, here's some JavaScript. You know, how, do you, how do you actually make these things interactive? Yeah, that didn't work. That was a line. Uh, so, trying to help people make these things. Hi, my name's uh, Mike Caulfield. Uh, I run a cross-institutional uh, web literacy uh, project, and we're trying to teach students to investigate the truth of things they find on the web. I'm really not a technologist, uh, but uh, this is what we're doing right now. We have this uh, site where we have students from multi multiple institutions uh, look at things on the web. 
I guess the only interesting thing is that we have a bunch of uh, hacked code in Python that uh, does static site generation uh, off of a um, off of uh, let's see if I can remember the password uh, off of Google Docs. So the students come in here, they edit the Google Docs, uh, and then we knock out a uh, uh, out of that we knock out a uh, site like uh, like Digipo. Uh, good enough. You can see it. Digipol IO. Uh, hi there. I'm Jack Jamison. My website is Jack Jamison. Oh, gosh. I hit uh, Command Q instead of Command A. Does it work? Hmm? Okay. Yeah. There's another Firefox instance for me. Okay, cool. All right. All right. So my website's uh, Jack Jamison. Dot net. Uh, it's not uh, it's not loading right now, but it's not terribly exciting anyway. The last thing I did was get uh, an Indy RSVP working, so I could uh, come here. So that's that uh, there. Um, that's me. Cool. Thank you. Let's get you back into. Nightly, nightly, nightly. There we go. That's what I want. One moment to get our nightly back. There we go. And okay. Good to go. Hi, I'm Pete Forsyth, and uh, I really haven't done anything uh, interesting technically uh, on a site I run recently, but I just I thought I'd point out this one, which is a it's a federated wiki page on the the federated wiki that Ward has been developing that he talked about earlier. Um, so this is a site. It's ForsythCriteria.bay.wiki.org, and what I'm trying to do is uh, is is think about the um, the conditions of a space, a website, or even a physical space that support effective collaboration. So uh, I'm trying to kind of draw some lessons from what has made Wikipedia work, uh, and uh, and I'm I'm trying to use this new version of Wiki uh, as I'm, I'm I'm sort of using this as a uh, uh, platform for exploring these questions. Um, hi, I'm Michelle, um, michellejl.com. Um, I built my site really, really quickly for a job I was applying for that said you have to have an Angular site, otherwise you can't apply. Um, oh, didn't get the job, which was good because Angular is not fun. Uh, <laughs> um, so recently decided that instead of trying to fix the site, since I really don't want to work with Angular, I was going to rebuild a new site. Saw on Calligator the homebrew web club thing, so I'm like, okay, I'll go there because there's other people building websites and they'll have ideas. And got talked into showing up for this. So I'm still rebuilding my site, but yeah. All right, hi, I'm Sebastian, uh, one of the Germans uh, visiting. Um, and I have this website, uh, sebastian.kip.pe, which is my last name. Um, so um, I set up this uh, known, um, I think two years ago, at, um, indie web camp in uh, Germany. And yeah, it's doing all the normal things with like syncing everything with Bridgie and everything. Um, and the, the last improvement I did was um, a guy from uh, Belgium, I think he's not here, Daniel Nix, uh, wrote a plugin for syncing to Macedon. So I'm now also um, posting uh, stuff to the Macedon from there. Um, and help, I helped him iron out a few bucks and make it usable, so you can actually go uh, download the plugin and use it now. Hi, I'm Tom. I don't 
we have a website to show. Um, I'm here to learn more about what indie indie um, indie web is doing. I mostly do marketing and storytelling. I work for a university in Northeast Portland. I also moonlight at a uh, information security awareness group that's a nonprofit, and it's mostly helping information security awareness teams figure out how to talk to their themselves within their companies. So that's all. Thanks. Does the timer start when I load the site or when I? When you start talking, it says now. Okay, well, my name is David Chansky, and I am a bad member of the community because I don't post frequently enough. So I'm admitting this publicly, so please call me out on it if I don't post at least one thing in the next 24 hours. So the last thing I bothered to post was this RSVP. Then I discovered that I, two months earlier when I supported RSVPs, I'd incorrectly done the markup, so I also prevented at least one other person from RSVPing correctly to this event. <laughs> So um, not very pretty, but does what it needs to do. And uh, if you want to see all the stuff that I built working well, you probably should go look at Chris Aldrich's site because he seems to use it a lot more than I do. That's what's covered. This, what's the stuff that you built? Uh, let's see. I was responsible for the PostKinds plugin, the syndication links plugin, all for WordPress. I'm a contributor to the web mentions and the semantic linkbacks plugin, and not very often the micropub plugin. Um, Sorry, Brian. But other than that, anything else that I'm thinking of doing at any given time? Okay. Sorry. Hi there, I'm uh, Mitch Kaya, and um, I've been trying to get back control of my digital life for a while now um, by running lots of open source software. Um, oh, yeah. I should probably spell that right. Um, but what I've been finding is there's only so many open source projects to do the things that you want. Um, so I have Nextcloud, Wallabag, um, a GOG server. But I'm getting to the point now where I would like to write my own stuff. So um, hopefully by tomorrow, I will have something on this page um, rather than just loading it blank. So I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Hi, I'm uh, Tom Brown, and my blog is, um, or my site is Here's Tom with the Weather. And my last, um, it's a Jekyll side, my last uh, post is a step by step on how I um, deploy to Netlify and use a, a Jekyll uh, and um, Travis CI to send web, web mentions. And uh, so it's uh, just a long step-by-step uh, -step on uh, setting up a custom domain and SSL and then uh, setting up uh, uh, web mentions. And at the very top, I've got a link to a clean uh, GitHub repo that's got a, a branch of, um, of where the web mentions are, are sent out. Um, so if anybody's interested, thanks. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Chris. I go by John Henry online sometimes. Um, currently redoing my uh, personal website, so I'll show you a little sort of like side project I'm working on. Um, 2017, I think there's uh, maybe more interest or growing interest sort of broadly about sort of decentralized technologies and open web and sort of stuff like this. So uh, I'm trying to sort of like catalog, catalog a bunch of different projects, do like curation of some of the best resources and like advocation out there for like why people should be interested in uh, power in technology and how, you know, we can sort of democratize more access to it. Um, so the thing I worked on most recently, it's a little bit embarrassing, I guess. Uh, this, there's, I've been trying to find like a replacement for jQuery slide down function that just does like really easy, like collapsing and like uh, smooth stuff like that. This actually took like a little bit of JavaScript to write, which I, I feel like should be, should exist as a solved problem. Uh, but yeah, so um, talk to me about this stuff. Hey, I'm AJ. Uh, I 
have a website uh, and I blog on it. Uh, so all of these are marked up with H entry and um, uh, H card and I think H feed too. I also maintain um, Pump.io, which is another um, decentralized social networking platform. Uh, and I'm involved in like the social working group at the W3C. Um, I feel like I was going to say something else, but oh, I know what I was going to say. Uh, the last thing I did on IndieWeb, in theory, was set up um, Posse to my own, from my own site? Yeah. Posse, and, Posse and Backfeed, yeah, via Bridgie, but I don't know if that actually works because I did it like literally moments ago. <laughs> so uh, I guess we'll find out. Uh, hello, my name is Anton, and my website is podvaznikov.com, which is my surname. Uh, I have basic basic blogs, so I, I, I blog there on my site. I have so that's one type of content. Another one, which is uh, I want to do for a while, uh, I stopped using Goodreads and start posting. Uh, reviews of all books I read uh, since last year on my site and I post so I post uh, reviews and I post all uh, all notes and quotes and highlights that I like from that book so from each book I have a my personal hosted on my site notes and quotes uh, I have a page with all quotes from all books but now I realize <laughs> just recently that maybe it's not actually legal I, I read uh, on, on each on each physical book that I can't do that so I might remove that and another page I have is now page, which, which is kind of like about page, but uh, what I'm doing right now. One more. One, one more, one more intro. I'm. Uh, Are you remote introing for someone? Sort of. Uh, this is. She can't be here. She she, she can't be here because she's uh, busy <laughs> hanging out in a box. But this is this is Dora IndieWebCat.com, and she has a website. And she posts pictures of uh, of all sorts of fun things that she does all day, and uh, hangs out at my house when and can't unfortunately come to Indie Web Camp today. But uh, she wanted to say hi. Oh yeah, she also posts uh, what she eats <laughs> and, and her weight. 